the City of Squim Water Reclamation Facility. The original plant was constructed in 1966 and was the first oxidation ditch in the state of Washington. A new plant was built in 1983 to accommodate higher flows. Various upgrades were added over the years until the city constructed the present .8 MGD Class A reuse water facility in 1998. Waste sludge from the secondary process is treated in four aerobic digesters and then turned into Class A bile solids using an FKC screw press. Sludge from the digester is mixed with lime to a, to a pH of 12 and allowed to cure for 24 hours. It is then coagulated with polymer and pre-thickened in an FKC rotary screen thickener. It passes into the screw press where it is dewatered and steam heated to further destroy any potential pathogens. The final product is an EQ Class A biosolids that runs between 25 and 40 percent solids. The first step in this process is the addition of alkali material. The City of Squim uses quicklime to elevate the pH of the sludge to meet the vector attraction reduction requirements. Lime is stored in a 900 cubic foot silo and is easily slaked with the sludge via the inductor tank. The first step in this process is to fill the biosolids feed tank with sludge. A fail safe valve is opened and the sludge is pumped from the aerobic digesters into the sludge lime tank. Sludge is added to the tank at a rate of 400 gallons a minute. The large floating agitator is used to keep the sludge well mixed. Once the once the tank is nearly full, a Gorman rut pump is used to pump sludge from the bottom of the tank and into the inductor tank. This pump pumps at approximately 200 gallons a minute. The inductor tank adds as a giant toilet bowl. After five minutes of mixing, the bin activator, lime hopper agitator, and lime conveyor turn on. This conveys lime into the top of the inductor tank. The lime is mixed very well in this small tank. You can even see a slight color change of the sludge. After the lime is added, pH analysis is performed to determine if there was adequate lime addition. pH sampling is done initially after 2 hours and after an additional 22 hours for a total of 24 hours of lime hold time. After the vector attraction reduction requirements are met, the next step is chemical conditioning with the use of polymers. Lime sludged is pumped from the lime storage tank using a positive displacement pump. Sludge and polymer are introduced in the flocculation tank. This tank is sufficiently sized to allow the sludge and polymer to react and form large flocculation particles. These particles overflow out of the flock tank and into the rotary screen thickener. The rotary screen thickener then removes any free water from the sludge. This water could cause significant cooling effect in the screw press if not first removed. The rotary screen thickener generally thickens the sludge from about 1% to 5 or 6%. The final step in achieving a Class A material is pasteurization. This is achieved using indirect steam to heat the biosolids. The thickened sludge overflows out of the rotary screen thickener and into the screw press. The screw press simultaneously dewaters and pasteurizes the sludge. Because the screw press turns at less than 0.1 revolutions per minute, there is sufficient time to meet the time and temperature requirements of the 503 regulations. The temperatures are measured and recorded at the outermost portion of the cake mat. This is because it is the furthest point from the heat source and the coldest portion of the material. Tip sensitive thermocouples are mounted on the screw press 20 minutes from the discharge point and just before discharging from the press. The PLC in the control panel monitors these temperatures continuously and shuts the system down if there is any problems. The final product is conveyed into a five yard dump truck and hauled into town where it is mixed with yard debris. The Class A material is then used within the city. Application sites include the city roundabouts, highway right away, and city flower baskets.